Hi there everyone, it's Annie from Saucy Social Media here bringing you um, a little trick, a little trick to bring pin your Pinterest into your Facebook page. Now if you've got really cool products like um, jewellery or um, bridal wear or shoes or my goodness, I'm trying, or you're a travel, um, in the travel industry, anything that's very image related, you can be using Pinterest. Now, I've spoken about this in other other videos and blog posts before. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to maximize your Pinterest boards and bring them into your busy page, hopefully busy page, on Facebook. Now, there's a little trick to this. There's a lot of, the, lot of um, other videos and blog posts going around about this, but I'm going to show you the trickiest trick of all to bring the best version of Pinterest into your Facebook page. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing you need to do is go up to the top of Facebook search bar and you need to add the HTML iframe app. Now you're going to go for this one here. See this one here? This one here with a little pin on it, with a, with a little, um, this one, um, is the one that has the most options on it and so you're going to click on that and you're going to um, you'll see I've already added it so I'm not going to go through with this you're going to add this to your page now if you want to be like me and use the little pin icon click don't click on this big green button here click down here on this pin icon and you'll have to allow the permissions and then choose the page if you've got more than one to add it to and then it should take you back to your page and which is where we're about to go again now once you've gone through that process and once you get back to your page you should see that you now have this little beauty here now I've already named it and everything so this should have the pin icon and it'll probably say something like welcome okay so we're going to click on that right now on my page and you're going to see that I've already got Pinterest in here. Now look at how neat it is. It's all neat, tidy and I've only pinned one board, the board that's specific to what uh, the niche that I'm in, in on this page because I've got other pages. But this th that board, now look how neat it is. There's no wide scrolling forever like some of the other um, Pinterest um tabs that people have brought in. Uh, they've brought their whole Pinterest in and it, it seems to scroll f sideways forever and down forever because it's not been nicely squashed up into this beautiful size. Now the trick to this is that you're bringing in the mobile version. How cool is that? Now the mobile version of course it's for mobile phones and so it's all nicely tidy and the right size for your your Facebook tab. Now that's a bit cool. <laughs> how would you like to know how to do that? So let's have a look. Let's go into what the admins see on their HTML tab. Now don't take any notice of this. Yours will be empty. I want you to scroll down to this area here. This area here. Because you can bring in a source page and a lot of people are teaching you how to do that. Um, to bring just bring your Pinterest board in. Now my Pinterest bo boards, all of them, are here and the Pinterest URL, my Pinterest URL of course, is this one. That's my whole Pinterest board. Now I'm just, just to show you how it works, I'm going to actually show you how I change that to bring in the mobile version rather than that great big this whole thing you can if I go back to here you can see this is this is too enormous it goes outside the, the specs of this video it's it scrolls forever it goes sideways scrolls sideways forever it's way too big for your tab but if you do this one little trick as you add this now as you can see there's a URL in here now this is the URL and I'm going to go keep it because I created it. Here's one I prepared earlier uh, and I'm going to show you what, what changes when I don't just bring the board in. That's the board. So if I was going to do it that way, I would choose this board here 
and then I would go up into the top of my uh, browser and I would I would choose that particular uh, URL which looks which actually looks like that now you notice the difference there's an M here now if you put this little M M dot now that's all you do you change the URL by putting M dot now you can do that right here if you like um, I'm doing it this way because I really really want to show you how it's done now I'm going to copy that copy and I'm going to go back to my Facebook um, HTML app and I'm going to paste that in Now, as you can see, now if I didn't have the M dot, what your Pinterest main main um, profile URL would look like would be that. That's exactly what it looks like. What you do is you put M dot right there. So you do that now, and then you click. You scroll down and you click. That's all you do. Choose a height. I've chosen 1,000 because I don't want it to be too long on the page. And all you do is save settings. Now this is cool because this is just has changed what I had before. Remember, I just had a board before. Now I go to View tab. I've got this beautiful, neat mobile version of my Pinterest sitting on my Facebook tab. How cool is that? This is the mobile version. Isn't that a neat little trick? Now, if you didn't want to bring this whole your whole Pinterest boards in, and I've got some really cool stuff, so people can sort of get a get a little look into my personality which is you know quantum phenomenon fractals I think I've got really cool sh I've got dragons pictures of dragons um, I've got beautiful backgrounds um, shoes I'm a shoeholic um, I have to say my feet don't like them anymore but I do now I'm gonna have to cut this a little bit short but you get the drift when you when you do this you put the M dot in front of the rest of it and Ta-da, you have the mobile version. This is Annie from Saucy Social Media signing off with another very cool hint. And I hope you enjoy it. If you have any problems, come by on the page and, and, uh, and let me know and we'll see if we can diagnose what went wrong. But it's as simple as that, folks. Have a wonderful and absolutely awesome day. Bye for now.